Good evening. Oh, it's evening here anyway. So my next project is something a little bit different. It is not this. Now, I have done this one before, um, and I actually will do this one again. Uh, I'll be doing this one up with the Huskers markings and landing gear, and I already did one in flight with Starbucks. But um, I have a group build coming up for a... Uh, a facey tweety space group that I'm in and there's a you know there's a there's a theme to it that sort of lends its way to doing something kind of fun and different so I'm looking at something that is like this but it is this this is a model that was sold by fantastic plastic and this was a concept Caprica Air Force uh, Viper. So think of it as a precursor to, to the Battlestar Galactica Viper. Now this design, as I understand, was done by uh, Pierre Drolet. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. And this is a kit. You can actually get this from, from Fantastic Plastic in 172nd scale. And it's sort of, I, I've liked this design. I like the way this looks. I, like, I kind of like the concept of the, the Aero fighter, the Aero Viper, and the Jet Viper, that the precursor to the Galactica Space Superiority Fighter. So, what I'm thinking about is to do a kit bash of and, and sort of custom make this. So when I look at this, when I look at this this ship. In here, I see the Phantom F4. So the, the intakes and the, the just the overall look for it, I see the F4 Phantom. And the, the nose is, is Phantom-like, but actually the nose sort of gives me a harken back to like the P-51 Mustang or the, uh, the Warhawk or the Spitfire. Now, considering that I'm kind of a fan of the Spitfire in a Spitfire is something of the theme for the group build that I'm looking at. What I think I would like to do is sort of build something like this as a kit bash between an F4 and a Spitfire. So, with that said, you know, I look at this and I'm, you, you sort of look at the design elements that are the Viper and what you have is you've got a short engine cluster you have a very long nose and let's see if I can find here we go so if you look at the Vipers you know this is a general this is a, a view of the Viper Mark II and the Mark III that you see in uh, Blood and Chrome you actually get a look at the Mark III's and the uh Let's see, the, the, the Mark III is bigger. It's sort of Tomcat-like. You know, if you look at the F4 and the Tomcat, that fighter is bigger, it's heavier, it's beastly, right? Um, the Mark II, the Mark I, the Mark VII, they're all small compared to people, whereas the Mark III is, is bigger and more beastly. It has more of a... It goes closer to, to an aircraft design in scale than even than even this one. This one is sort of on par with the the Mark II. So there's another guy that's actually in my group that I'm on the Facey Toy Space with who did a, a version of this as well. He kit bashed a, a P-40 with, uh, I believe, an F-15 or an F-14. F-14, F-15, I can't remember which. But it was larger in scale to the, to the pilot. So as I look at this, you know, the, the engineer in me is like, well, all right, let's take an F4. Let's take a Spitfire. Let's compress it, but let's do some math first. So this is me doing math and looking at the layout of what we have for, you know, overall size. Now, if we look at the Viper... The F4, first of all, this model is huge. The F4 is a huge model. 
It's a huge plane. It's also your engine deck is huge, is very very long. So like if you look at this guy, it's almost like it gets cut off right here, and the nozzles start right there. What I'm looking at doing is is similarly. So chop this piece off, bring it further forward, um, and maybe keep the dimensions of this wing maybe maybe narrow this wing down by by about this much so if i do that then bring it to where basically i want to bring the nozzles to where they end wherever the, wherever the wing ends the other thing about this is it also has this the uh the tail fin and i don't have another another picture of the f4 but it has you know the whole tail fin assembly come out beyond the nozzles and this is one of the things that this one does not have this only has uh, a twin engine setup. So the thought I have is hack this off here, just a little bit past the nozzles, bring the upper stabilizer forward, and rework this piece to have a third engine exhaust. So there's actually three, so you get that, that triple exhaust, or that, that triple engine look that you get out of a Viper. Um, it's shorter and then you then build the the nose piece of the Spitfire coming out the front so here's the other catch is in scale the Spitfire is about half the length of the F4 so these two pictures are roughly in scale so the nose of the Spitfire from if you look at the Viper from the end of the canopy to the to the front of the nose is about half the length of the ship. So this one's a little bit shorter, but your your overall dimensions are, you know, half of your your overall length of your vehicle is all nose. With this, even if I hack this back to here, your nose is still really short. So I'm probably looking at having to flip scales. So What's next? What's next on this is designing up the or doing the math. It really comes down to doing the math. What I where I think I'm headed is going with a larger scale version of the Spitfire meshed to a smaller scale version of the F4. So either one thirty second Spitfire to a one forty eighth uh, Phantom or possibly even a 124th Spitfire, because there is one, to a 148th Phantom. So, that's, so I'm going to do some math, and uh, play around in Photoshop a little bit with hacking and cutting and moving and sliding stuff around and seeing what, what I can do here with giving me an overall plan view, and then what that does with, you know, the same thing with the Spitfire view. So you know, the, the nose, you just cut off the wing here, your nose has that look, that general look that I'm looking for. And then instead of the spinner, we'll just put we'll just put a cone. And that will give us or give me what I'm roughly looking for. So this in short is my next project. This is a so this is the inspiration. And I'm starting with this inspiration as a as a concept. It's just it's a it's the first time I've done a a custom build, a custom uh, kit bash in oh my gosh, an incredibly long time. But trying to do that with this kind of a finish and a, a nice solid look is is a good new challenge, a good modeling skills challenge. So that's where I'm going. That's my next project. Um, I just forget I'd share that, and I'm going to. I'm going to vlog and blog. I'll put a a link down below to the the blog itself because I do have a a written blog of my of my modeling efforts. So I'll put that there as I talk through and think through the math and what I'm doing, and then as I assemble and and work up the details, I'll, I'll vlog where I'm going and how I'm doing them. So I hope this is inspirational to you guys because this is actually very inspirational to me and then like I said the, the David David Eves I'll put a link here um, to, to do his build as well 
his was definitely a, a, a real inspiration. I was really up in the air as far as what I was going to do for this group build until I saw that. I was like, okay, I'm in. So we'll see what we can do. So I hope this is inspirational for you too, and uh, follow along and see where I go. Thank you very much.